Hi, today I'm going to do the look that I was wearing in the intro of my last video because so many of you requested a tutorial and that makeup really just took me five minutes. It was a bright pink lip, lip very glowy, very fresh makeup. The kind of makeup that I like to wear at this time of year because you're kind of in a rush but it's also dark and a bit cold and it really kind of livens your skin up. So here we go. I started by using base. Um, all over my skin but a very thin layer so I'm going to just buff this in a lot. My skin is really red at the moment and a bit spotty particularly on my um, chin area. So just keep buffing. A really thin layer all over and don't worry if there's any little spots to the left because we're going to conceal those so particularly for me around this area I will be going back in in a second I'm also going to use a smaller brush just to blend around my brows with that because I'm kind of red there at the moment okay so for concealer I'm going to use this Revlon one. All the makeup I'm going to use today is from the high street or drugstore makeup. So it's really, I think everything is under £10. So it kind of shows you that you don't need to spend a fortune to look great. I'm going to just buff underneath my eyes. Just to lift any shadows. So all of that area is quite shadowy for me at the moment and the same concealer I'm going to use on my red bits and just pat in anywhere that's got little marks and things so while that's settling in I'm going to use some highlighter and this is a Topshop one and it's quite um, creamy I'm going to use that onto the top of my cheek bones and buff that into the foundation. I'm also going to use it on my eyelids as well. Just to lift any shadowy areas. And then apply a cream blush and this is a really nice rosy pink one. And while this is all nice and fluidy, there's been no powder products, this should all blend really nicely. And then as it builds up, gets buffed in, you can add more. Just building this really lovely glow and rosiness. And the more you blend and buff that, the more it'll look like it's really natural and it's sort of coming from within rather than kind of painted on top. So I'll leave it there for now. I can always add a, a touch more later. Or I can always put a little bit of powder blush on, which will set it as well later. Just touching up the little bit of concealing there that I did. Okay, so on to mascara. I'm going to give a quick curl up. to lift and that instantly wakes up your eyes anyway and then I'm going to give them a really good coat I'm gonna go right down to those roots and massage there that will really help to kind of fr it almost gives you like a fake eyeliner if you're in a rush just really kind of hang out with the roots and keep massaging and this I have to say this mascara is fantastic for a cheap mascara it's under 10 pounds and I don't know if you can see, but it really grips the lashes. On to brows, I'm going to use this palette by Gosh and just mix the powder colours and just fill in any gaps really. This again will instantly wake up your face. Just gently defining eyebrows makes all the difference. 
and just step back in between whenever you do them and have a look. Just check that they're looking a good shape. And mixing together kind of, for me anyway, cool browns with a bit, little bit of grey always helps them to look more natural. Okay, so I'm going to move straight on to lips now because the lips was kind of like the highlight of the of the makeup. A quick way to do it, this is the colour that I use, which I love. It's um, a Rimmel. I'm going to just go over the entire lip. So this is not, this is going to be messy, but it's fine. And that's kind of just following the natural lip shape without really looking. And then I'm going to blot them really well. This is a long lasting lipstick. Oh, that's very nice colour on there. And then I'm going to use a lip pencil and this lip pencil is really close to the shade of the lipstick. And then I can start to investigate. So looking at the shape, this is a great way to do your lipstick because you never will end up with a kind of line around the edge, even if it does wear off. And it's a much quicker way to do it. So I'm kind of lining, but also filling in. And then you can go over again with lip lipstick and just pat in this time. This just sh saves you from having to use a lip brush. And that was kind of the finished look. I mean, you can go back in and add a little bit more highlighter, which I'm going to. Just right onto those high points. Just keep patting it in. And then you can add a little bit more blush if you want. I'm actually going to use this very highlighty powder blush just as a wash over the top. We've already got the cream, we've got the highlighter. It's all very pretty and glowy. This will just boost the, the colour a, a fraction, but also keep that lovely glow going and it'll kind of set it as well so it lasts all day. And then we're kind of finished, although if you are someone that really can't live with that eyeliner, then a good way to do it with this kind of very fresh glowy look is just to use a dark, um, I'm going to use a palette that I've got here, any palette that you've got, either a black or a brown or a grey, and just take a powder. This is what's good about doing it like this, you don't have to be too exact because you're using powder through the roots of your lashes and just close to the lashes. You're not having to kind of work with a pencil or um, a liner, a liquid liner. It's just easier. And then same at the underneath. Just kind of like right through those roots. So it's not a solid line. It's amazing how much more definition you get. And then a nice tip with what's left on the brush from the underneath, just sweep up. Not to make a big wing, but just to create a kind of upward shadow. So just from there, just going up. It's like a, a kind of very easy kind of slightly wing eye and then just buff that so it still doesn't look like you've got a lot of eye makeup on you still have that freshness it's not too vampy it's still quite daytimey and that's kind of the finished look so it's really just a perfect look for a gray day and everything around you is gray and you'll be like a fresh flower blooming and i absolutely love this lip color so i hope you like it and i'll see you soon